Hi guys, this is Shumon from ASA Technical. Today I will show you how to add multiple HDD on a single laptop. In order to install two HDD in a laptop, your laptop must have CD, DVD, optical drive. So, if your laptop has a CD, DVD, optical drive, then you can continue this procedure. Alright, in order to continue this procedure, you will need a HDD caddy. And please note very carefully. If your laptop CD or DVD optical drive less than 10 mm, then order 9.5 mm caddy. And if your laptop CD or DVD optical drive more than 10 mm, then order 12.5 mm caddy for your laptop. I ordered 9.5 mm caddy from Amazon according to my laptop CD DVD optical drive. Okay, let me show you. It's around 369 INR. Alright, this is a 9.5mm SATA second bay caddy for CD DVD optical drive slot. It comes with 4 Philips head hard drive fixing screws. You can connect your 2.5 inch SATA interface HDD or SSD drives by using this hard drive caddy. Ok, this is the SATA connector which will be connect with the hard drive SATA ports and this is the caddy SATA port which will be directly connect to the motherboard's optical drive SATA connector. And it comes with a Philips head screwdriver to fixing it. Ok, this is the WD 1TB HDD. I will demonstrate by installing this 1TB HDD in this Acer laptop as a second hard drive. Alright, now let's do that. At first, place your HDD into the HDD caddy slots. Now gently slide and connect your HDD to the caddy setup port and make sure solid connection between your HDD and caddy and please do everything very gently. Once you've done this step, just flip your HDD caddy. Next you have to fix your HDD with the caddy by screwing these 4 flips head screws. Alright, now it's ready to install on your laptop's optical drive slot. But before doing this, you have to add two more things on your caddy, such as central mount bracket and bezel faceplate cover, which will be found on your laptop's optical drive. Now flip your laptop's bottom side up. Ok, now you have to remove the optical drive from your laptop. Next locate and unscrew the optical drive screw. Note. Usually, this should be a single screw only to remove the optical drive. Also, you can see the laptop manufacturer information to remove your laptop's optical drive. Now gently insert a paper clip into the eject pin hole, then gently push in and the tray will eject automatically. Once you're done, next gently remove the bezel faceplate cover by using a flat screwdriver or paper clip. At first, very gently pressing on the tab. Then very gently remove the rest of the bezel faceplate cover. Once you're done, next gently attach the bezel faceplate cover to the caddy. Ok, now you have to remove the center mount bracket from the laptop's optical drive. Next attach this center mount bracket to the caddy.
Once you're done, now gently insert the HDD caddy into the laptop's optical drive bay. Next, reattach the optical drive screw to fix your caddy properly. Alright, now turn the laptop's right side up and let's see it's working or not. Okay, as you can see from boot manager, WD and Toshiba both HDD is working properly. Now let me show you from Windows Disk Management. Okay, this one is Toshiba which is my primary hard drive and another is WD which is installed by using second bay hard drive caddy. Alright, now let's see from Windows Device Manager. Ok, as you can see, second HDD driver was successfully installed. Note, if you want to make this second HDD as a primary boot device, then go to BIOS and select your second HDD as a primary boot device under boot menu. Also, you can use this second HDD as a Windows to go drive. So, hope you will like. Of course, let us know your opinion. If you have any questions, then please let us know. Please like, comment, share, we need your support and guys please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you, thanks for watching, have a nice day.